Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you five different looks using my James Charles X Movie Palette. So let's get straight into the video. So just really quick before we get into the tutorial, that word is very hard for me to say today, but oh well. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Anti Rank Concealer in the shade Ivory to prime my eyelids. And then I'm going to lightly be setting that with a mix of the shade Flashback and the shade Canvas to set it. I'm going to be using the shade Ring Light in my inner corner. And then my mascara is going to be the Essence Lash Princess. Hey guys, so it's taken me forever to get this voiceover down. So hopefully this time um, we get to keep it. So I'm just putting some concealer on my eyelid and then using a eyeliner brush. It's really a flat brush to carve out my brows because they're looking rough and then spit out that concealer and then I'm taking my beauty sponge and just going over it to make sure it's really nice and smooth. I feel like I've said this a bajillion times but really you're only hearing it once. So as I said I'm lightly taking the shade canvas in flashback and very lightly putting that on my eyelid to set that concealer. Next I'm taking the shade Punch Me which is a really nice brown trans transition shade my favorite mattes in the palette and putting that in my crease and I'm just really blending that so you know it looks nice and smooth and blended and beautiful lovely wow I'm really tired of doing this whole voiceover thing I feel like I've done this 20 times so now I'm taking this little elf eyeliner brush and this is what I'm going to be using for all these looks to put the eyeshadow on my bottom lash line and I'm really blending that out with another blending brush so here's the shade ring light the shade Sister, the shade So Good, and then the shade Faith. And this is what I do when I'm doing my really easy standard eyeshadow look. So I apply all these shades with my finger, blend the shimmer into the matte, spray my brush with a little bit of water, and then use the shade Ring Light in my inner corner. And then finally, I finish the whole look off with some mascara. And I'm just going to be showing you um, the four different shimmers on my eyelid. They actually end up looking pretty similar, but in real life, they look different. So here's the shade Ring Light. Here's the shade Sister. This is the shade So Good. And this last one is the shade Face. For this next look, I'm going to be using the shade called Guac, which is such a pretty kind of army green shimmer and putting that over my eyelid still with that same brown transition shade then really blending the shimmer into the brown because I don't know that'd be really weird if you all of a sudden had brown and then green and it wasn't, wasn't blended so yeah I like to do this look if I'm wearing like army green pants or an army green sweater and then you know my eyeshadow can match my outfit so I'm mixing the shade Tune in Code James and that's going to be my transition shade for this look we're going a little warmer in this one so putting that in my crease on my lower lash line and I'm going to be deepening it up with a mix of the shade Code Jeans and 10% off. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking the shade Face, which is one of my favorite shimmers in the palette, and putting that on my eyelid. This one is just so creamy and pigmented. I love it. I'm blending that in. Then we're going to do mascara and inner corner highlight and this look is all done. So here's the completed look. I don't do this one all the time, but I actually really like it. Here you can see me freaking out because I chose the wrong shade to start with and that would have been really bad. But really, I want to take the shade Mary and that's going to be my transition shade and I'm going to put that in my crease and my lower lash line. Once I do that, I'm going to be taking the shade Boutique, which you first saw me accidentally almost start with and deepening, deepening up the shade Mary. Next, I'm taking the shade Shook, which is a really pretty cranberry shimmer, and applying that on my eyelid. I did this look in Get Ready With Me a while ago, and I really like it. These are some of the prettiest cranberry shades in this, well, they're just really pretty cranberry shades. I really like them. So I'm just finishing off the little final touches of this look, and here's the completed eye look. And surprisingly, I got really tired during this little 
eyeshadow tutorial thing because it took me forever. So here I'm taking the shade Pinkity Drinkity because we're going to be doing a little pink Valentine's Day look for this one. So I'm using that as a transition shade and then I'm going to be also using the shade Mary on top of that so we get a little more pinky red transition shade. I'm taking the shade Sister on my finger and I'm going to be putting that on my eyelid and just for a little added sparkle once this look is done I'm going to be using my Stila liquid eyeshadow. This is in the shade Enchantress and I'm going to be putting that just a little bit on top of that pink sh sister shade. Yeah, I really, I really like this. I had a little extra, you know, sparkle, little shimmer. So fun. So this is the last look that I did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alrighty, guys, that is it for today's video. I am finally done. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been sitting here doing my eyeshadow forever. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below um, if you're going to maybe do one of these eye looks. Which one was your favorite? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.